Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion node breakdown. Today's node is the DCTL node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we're going to cover the DCTL node. And DCTL stands for DaVinci Color Transform Language. And what it is, is kind of like a LUT on steroids. Whereas your LUTs are basically 1D or 3D lookup tables and your standard LUTs kind of approximate the image transformations that are happening. For example, a, a LUT that you use in DaVinci is the same LUT you can use in like Adobe Premiere and it's going to do its math the same no matter what program you use it in. So that's why I say it kind of approximates the image transforms because all color science within different programs does math differently. But a DCTL file being DaVinci specific is comprised of computer code that directly transforms your images using math functions. And we're not going to get in how to create DCTLs because honestly, I do not create them. It's it's a lot of math and a lot of coding and you can do it in notepad and write your own DCTLs if you want. There's specific syntax out there on how to do it, but there are plenty of people that do amazing jobs at writing DCTLs. And uh, one of them, one of my favorites and where I actually pulled some free DCTLs for today's little example is uh, Cor Hendrickson. And he's pretty amazing about uh, writing DCTLs and actually doing a whole bunch of other Python stuff that makes your workflow within DaVinci Resolve so much better. But he has created some free DCTLs that you can download and there's going to be watermarks on them. But if you like them, go ahead and buy them. They are well worth it. And I'll show you an example of why a DCTL is kind of better than even your standard uh, stuff within DaVinci when it comes to color grading. So let's jump into Fusion and we've got some footage and we're going to add a DCTL node. So shift space DCTL and we've got a DCTL node. So the only thing you can do with this node is actually load an existing DCTL. But if you don't have any DCTLs loaded, it's just going to be none and you're not going to have any selections. So in order to have DCTLs, once you download your DCTLs, you just want to make sure you navigate to wherever your LUTs are. So you can open your LUT folder and you input your DCTLs there. Once they're there and you restart DaVinci, of course, they will automatically show up provided they were coded correctly. So if I go to my DCTL right here, I can see all the ones I have loaded. So I'm just going to load one up so you can uh, see what's happening here. And of course, this is demo mode. That's why we have all these little dots in here. I did not pay for this. And I kind of want to show you the difference between the, the nice math when someone like Core writes good uh, DCTLs as opposed to your DaVinci stuff. So let's say on this image, all we want to do is uh, increase our saturation. So let's look at this one and let's... Uh, crank our saturation. Now you can see what it did is pretty much brightened up all of our saturation and uh, it's kind of crazy. It's too bright, but that's how the math within our little color node, whether you're here in your color corrector or in your color grading, this is how your saturation is working. It's just increasing your saturation across the board. And we all know in the real world, this isn't how saturation actually works saturation is just going to add more color, meaning that color is going to bounce back to your eyes more, not get brighter, but just get more colorized. So our yellows should technically be yellower and probably a deeper color, not a brighter color. So let's see how this DCTL works. And we're just going to do the st same thing we did. We're going to go to our saturation gain here and we're going to crank it. So if you notice what that did is it doesn't have these crazy bright blown out colors. And of course, this is way too much. But just to uh, show you an example, now our saturation is darker. So let's bounce back and forth between the two. See bright and kind of blown out. Darker and uh, more saturated. So our DCTL math, how it's doing math is more correct than how some of our other nodes are doing math. So let's go ahead and clear this out. And another thing to note is your DCTLs are really meant to be used within your color grading tab. 
this is what they're actually written for is your color grading tab and to be used somewhat like a LUT within your color grading workflow. But we can use them in uh, Fusion and I have used them in Fusion, not me on my own projects, but I have received DCTLs kind of in a LUT form when I'm doing uh, joint projects. So I've had people say, hey, we need some v VFX on it. Here's a DCTL we're using and they sent me their DCTL. So in that case, anytime you do something like that with Infusion, you just want to crank your DCTL at the very end of your process. And I'll show you why here in a second. But uh, let's go ahead and grab something else. Let's uh, use the, uh, the hue contrast. And uh, I'm going to uncheck this highlight selection. And I'm just going to target my hue. And I'm going to change that contrast of my hue a little bit. So let's say this is what they sent me. So this is the DCTL they wanted me to use. So how you would do it in your workflow, like I said, make sure you're at the very end. And let's say uh, we added some stuff here. Let's go ahead and uh, make a little uh, square. And we're gonna move it off to the side here so we can uh, see this color. I'm gonna bring that in. and uh, Let's adjust our color here. And I'm going to uh, grab hers right there. So now anything I do in here, this DCTL is being applied to it. So here's our original, here's our DCTL. Now, if I had our DCTL first and was doing all this little color stuff, you can see our color is going to be off when we look at this because uh, our background color in our DCTL has been changed. That's why you want to make sure your DCTL comes after all of the stuff you are doing within your color. And then you just pass it back to them and they can see you've applied their little DCTL that they've uh, added and you're good to go. So that is the DCTL node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.